<laughs> let's hope. Let's, let's hope. <laughs> let's hope we're really alive. Working? We're just going to be, uh, we're going to be sewing this pattern with me and you, which is fine too. Right? Yeah, yeah that's fine. It says it's still waiting for me okay. on my it says that we're YouTube live. channel. So when anybody, oh, and here, we'll see when people start joining too. Um, all right. Because people but, have joined my YouTube channel. They have. Oh, here, get I'm getting them now. Hey, everyone. Happy Saturday. We, me and Jenna, are going to be um, sewing the family travel organizer today. Yeah, From Lynn's, Lynn's Handmade. Is it still thinking on your end, Jenna? Yeah, it's not coming up on mine. Few minutes. If you've arrived, say hello. Let us know who's here. I and Katie from my little shindig. <laughs> I'm Jenna Lynn's from Katie. Thunderbird Handcrafted. Yeah. It's not coming up on my on my YouTube. Uh -oh. So I'm not sure what we did wrong. I don't know. What should we do? Should we stop we and try again? No. We should just You want to just keep going? Um let me You want to take go. a minute and tell your YouTubers to go to my YouTube? Yep. That's what I'm going to do. We're not going to order my page too. That should be on my Facebook page too. Yeah. Um so in a second when we get all of these technicalities, this fun fun technology um together, we're going to be sewing the family travel organizer from Linhan Lin I cannot talk today. I'm going to have to have more coffee <laughs> from uh Lynn's handmade. Um, it's a pretty quick sew. Granted, I have not sewn it yet. However, <laughs> we have all the no pieces ready should ever and cut out. And I watched the tutorial last night. I, I judge how long a pattern is going to take me by how long the pattern designer's tutorial is. And hers was only 27 minutes. So I think it's going to be a quick sew. All right. I'm going to go over to my YouTube okay. channel and just pop okay. it in the in the chat yeah okay we're trying to figure out i'm using a new stream service now it's called Streamyard, which is really handy and fun because it lets us it's like a more personal experience right to the different lives that we do but in as such with any new system we're still trying to figure it out so All right, there I shared it there, and then I'll, I'm going to share it over in my group. So we have a few more people on now. If you've just joined, let us know who you are and how your Saturday is going and if you've had enough coffee. I am on the West Coast, so it is 1030 right now my time, 1030. Which she made sure to tell me that I made her wake up early on the Saturday. I had to wake up at 7 a.m., which was horrifying. <laughs> so I could get dressed and then get everything situated. Um, hi ladies. Hi, Rinda. Let's put you up there. Hello. How are you? There we go. We got some people. We got Sybil. We got Rinda. Hi, Sybil. We got Diana. All right. I just posted in the oh, event. Wow. Are, are well. girls your daughters or are girls like the pup dogs? <laughs> Thumbs up, everyone. And I'm going to okay. go put on the stream so I can see people's comments. All right. I think I'm, I think I'm good. I shared it where we can share it and we're just going to sew and have a good time. Yeah. House of stitches is here. Hi. Let's see. Sherry's here. Hello from everyone. West Virginia. Yeah. Hi Holly. Hi everybody. <laughs> ah, the girls are pup dogs. They are German. Yeah, Diana. Mix. Yep. Diana, I have a anxiety ridden, ridden uh, border collie mix as well. Her name is Wanda. She is a border collie and Labrador mix. And whoo, that border collie energy. All right. So I said before, we're making the family travel organizer today by Lynn's Handmade. And yeah. Jenna wanted me to. Okay. So we were talking a few, what, a few months ago, maybe? About what yeah, I, we were talking a few months ago because I sent you a picture of my hot yes, mess. Yes, you sent me a picture. Okay, 
you posted it, I think. It was a picture I of, your it, of my little cover. cabinet with all my, yes. all my patterns. And and the patterns were going everywhere, okay? And so we were talking about what to do with our patterns and how we could organize them better. And I know a lot of people use binders. I hate binders because yeah, I, I hate use binders. I hate that they're bigger on the binding side and then they go in, and they never sit right. And I'm a little OCD on that factor. <laughs> like I can't. I need everything to sit flush, right? It drives me crazy. Okay, so. <laughs> you had a really genius idea. I had an idea. Um, and my husband thought I was a bit crazy, but you know, that's normal. Um, I bought a binding machine, <laughs> which isn't as nuts and as expensive as you'd think. I got it on Amazon. It was like, I don't know, 65 bucks, 70 bucks, something like that. Um, and it was super yeah, I think easy to use. Much. And it came with some um, coils um, in the packet. It was like a kit. Um, but then I bought some extras too for like bigger patterns. I mean, yeah. So there it is. I bind all of my patterns. It has a little co pretty cover on it. It has a back on it. And then in the very back. Oh, Isn't she genius? Pocket. She's genius. It's genius. Uh, I found these pockets on Amazon. And so when I'm done with my pattern pieces, I just stick them in the back pocket and then it is all together. It's so, oh. I, I literally, <laughs> when she showed me this, I was like, okay, now you can come, come you can get on a plane you can bring <laughs> your binding machine, but mm -hmm. I'm going to order one myself because I think it like, yeah, I don't have a was, lot of space. And so that's it was. Winnie Mama seems says pockets. Everything needs pockets. Well, the problem always was like if I put it in the binder, then again, I still need something to put the pattern pieces in. Right. It drives then me they, crazy. And just right? sliding them in like a sleeve or something, then they're always then they fall out. out. So I had to find. I looked and looked. It was a rabbit hole for sure. But I looked and finally found these, and they like have yeah. Velcro, so Perfect. they so no pieces fall out. It makes my life so much better, you all. Yeah. And so now I just pull out a pattern. I just did. Oh, here's one. I just did the Mr. Um, Heckles handbag by Sincerely Jen. And before, as soon as I print it out, this is my new thing. As soon as I print, as soon as I buy the pattern, I print it out. I buy, I coil my, I bind it. I, I guess it's binding. I bind it. I cut out the pattern pieces and put them yeah. in the back. So then when I want to go and do it, it's like done. And all I have to do is pick it up. Yeah, it's a great idea. Because lots of times, let's be honest, if I buy the pattern, it just goes into my digital folder as a PDF. <laughs> then I go to make the pattern and I'm like, Ugh. oh, I got to cut it out. I, it's a lot of work. I'm just going to go sit and watch Law and Order instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so this. This pattern, I just want to, if, if you are making it with us, because I know there was a lot of people who said they were going to make it with us today. Um, if you haven't purchased the pattern, um, I'm going to put it in the in the chat right now. But Lindsay yeah. was kind enough um, to give a 15% off coupon code. And so I just put it in the chat. Uh, it's good for the print pat, the print, because um, she does sell because that's what I have. I have, like, she actually prints them. Um, There's the pattern, y'all, if you don't, or the code for the pattern. Yeah, so it is good for the print pattern, and it's good for the digital pattern mm -hmm. from her website, not from Etsy, because she does also sell on Etsy. The The yeah. code is only good um, for her website. So if you don't have it, I highly suggest you get it, because just cutting it out, I really feel like, one, I feel like it's a, it's a good beginner sew. So. Like, just looking at it, it's not going to take us much. Mm -hmm. um, I also think for those of you who do craft fairs and markets and stuff, this feels very much like a very batchable pattern. Yeah, like, totally. Like, you could you could make a bunch of them, and I feel like it's a good, it doesn't have a ton of hardware either. So No, it just has a price snap. range, I think you could get your money's worth out of it, um, like, to, sell, to resell it. It has a snap, but I feel like if you didn't want to do, if you're anti-snap, <laughs> you didn't want to deal with it. I feel like um, this is the, oh my God, what's the notebook color co cover called? 
It was in the fabric club from January. It's from um I know Kathy K Dale Patterns. Okay. Anyway, my point is that the way she you had do, a yeah you can do an elastic. You could totally do an elastic and just not do the um do the snap the yeah and just yeah, I admit think so that too. completely. Yeah. So I so. think I think that it's a really good pattern for that. And I know even though it's dark and stormy here today in Pennsylvania. Um, I do think spring is coming soon and there will be markets and things like that. And I, I think <laughs> this would be a good one for spring because everybody's getting ready for everybody's getting ready for summer travel. So yeah. Eventually it will be warm. Eventually. Right? Yes, please, God. <laughs> we just had snow falling again today here. So I'm like oh. yeah. it'll um, be warm on our Oka cruise. And yes, we're making let's hope so. That's what we're making this for. Right. So I guess, do um, we want to get started? Yeah, I put the link on um, just straight to Lynn's Handmade um, to her shop in the chat as well. Oh, cool. Um, and then do you want to show what fabric you're using real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. And I'll show mine. Sure. You want me to go first? I have mine right here. You go yeah, get sure yours. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I'm using fabric from my fabric club in, ooh, I think it was in 2022. It was like month 14, 15 ish, maybe. Um, but it was really fun. It was a travel. Uh, I think it was a wanderlust theme, is what it was called. So I'm actually not using the blue, I'm using cork instead, but I'm using this one. It has little binoculars. Oh, that's just another option from the line. And I'm using this. I love so the green. I like this green. Yeah. Yeah. The green is really cool. Yep. All the different travel places to travel and visit. So perfect for this pattern. Yeah. I am using it instead of the blue. I wanted to try it with cork. <clears throat> so I'm using this pretty, it's called Caribbean blue cork. It's going to be of mine. All right. Very what are you using this Jenna? Okay. So if, you guys follow me over on my channel, um, which maybe I should do that too here, is put, <laughs> put, my, put my channel um, in the comments. If you guys follow me, um, I did the transponder tote on, um, what was that? New Year's Day, I guess I did. Yeah. That so along. And um, Katie has these really cool, and she's going to have more of them, which I'm so excited because it's, oh, it's I have so one I can cool. pull up. Yeah. Um, it, it's like a tote panel set. So of her water resistant canvas, which if you haven't used her water resistant canvas, it really is your, your water resistant canvas is so unique. It's so different than anybody else's. Um, and it's really nice to sew. Thank you. There's my channel. Um, and so I had made my transponder tote with the castaway key panel and I still had like remnants left. And there was enough to be able to cut. Um, so I'm using this as the exterior. And I'm using the waves as the interior. Mm -hmm. And then I have some of my own fabric in basket weave, which is kind of, I don't have anything water resistant because all of my stuff is natural stuff. But this is our basket weave. And it's in the Ahoy Mouse print that I made. Cute. So I'm doing that for my card Super slots. Cute. I so. was planning to do a second one. Let me, I'll show you one of the panels. So I didn't get a second one cut out. I was planning to because I like to be extra, but even I couldn't be that extra today. So I was <laughs> going to do it. <clears throat> this is one of the panels. This is just a, it was a, not a misprint, but it didn't print as well as I would have liked. So it is now a scrap of mine. But this is essentially the idea. So it has two prints there, a main, and uh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, a main and a coordinating print, right? It's Lilo, Lilo, Lilo. and Mickey, and they're all doing scuba diving. Um, and then it has two, two panels, right? I love the bubbles. I love, that's like one of my favorite parts. My bubbles. I know. I love him. And then I was going <laughs> to actually do it with Jenna's, gosh, I don't know when you did this. This is a linen cotton canvas. That's one of the first. I could do pretty with the purple. 
Yeah, that's one of my right? first. Yeah, I know. Pretty. It's the OG. OG. So, <laughs> alas, I will have to do it after this is done. Yeah, that's I was really going to make a second one, too, because I have oh, some more... Yeah. I have some Lord of the Rings fabric that I'm coming out with on Friday. Yeah. It's little, little Hobbit houses. Um, because I don't know if you're, do you remember when Jade and Chris did these tags that say bag end? And it's like the little Hobbit door. That's adorable. Um, I think I'm going to make one, even though I'm not planning to go to New Zealand or Australia. But, you know, Christy, she like made sure to really rub it in that she went to Hobbiton and I know, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to make up. one, and it's going to be my call to the universe that someday I'm going to go. Yeah. <laughs> She's our so. world traveler. Yeah, she is. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm using. So, and I'm All using, right. my thread is Saya. Saya swag. Um, what, my thread sapphire. is wizardry, I think. Yes. Yeah. I'm Mine using is sapphire wizardry. blue. And I'll be cool. using my Juki, my semi-industrial, my Haruka. And then in the background, you'll be maybe be able to see Jane, who is my Thor. But I call her Jane because she's <laughs> pink. Um, and I, I might just use her. I don't know. I might just use her on the top stitching on the on the outside. Yeah. So I'm using my Sailor Ray. I'm using my Fabricator. Even though this, this would totally be a domestic... So, oh um, yeah, totally. Yeah, but I just I'm upset now that I have my industrial machine. I I'm kind of a snot about the yeah. right. Like Same. <laughs> you, get, you get to be a little bit snotty about what your um, what you're using top stitching yeah. looks like. It's specific to my top stitching. Otherwise, I don't care. Um, so Jenna, I'm just gathering. I think the first step is the zipper pocket. Yep, that's what I was I was oh. gathering. Blast. I didn't grab a zipper. I need to go do that. Okay. Okay. Well, go grab your zipper and I'll start showing everybody this stuff. All right. Okay. And say hi to April. April came in. Jamie said that it, it you do have really good water resistant canvas. Who says? <laughs> Jamie, um, Winnie Mama. Oh, is that Jamie? I didn't know who Winnie Mama sees it. Yeah. Um, and she said, <laughs> hi, she April. Use your print on her fish extender, which we have not done yet, and we need to do. I know. We're slackers. So does that mean that Jamie's going on the cruise with us? Yeah. Yay. So, yeah. Oh, she All changed right. her name. <laughs> there we go. Now she's... <laughs> that way we know. <laughs> I don't even know how to change your name. On <laughs> You know more than me. <laughs> um, April. Cutting out travel order. Travel wall and a mm. corner bowler. Ooh. Fun. Very fun. That'll look really good together. All right. So you need your interior. That's what it's telling us. We need our interior and we need our um, right sides together. Our slip pocket liner. But you need to draw your little zipper yep. outline on there. I'm going to turn my camera down. That way everybody can see what I'm doing. So I have three cameras. Because so I'm not extra really like get to Katie. see me three times. <laughs> I'm not extra like Katie and have three different cameras. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> That's how I am. Uh, um, the one so thing that you, you do want to talk and I'm going to get my zipper. Sounds good. The one thing that you do want to do, um, pay attention to, is if you are using directional fabric with this, you know, make sure you're not putting like, I want to make sure that I don't put my waves upside down because then they look like little hands. Um, so make sure that you have it in the direction that you want it. And so it's just going to be right sides together. I'm going to clip this in place. And I noticed over here I have a little bit of extra. So I'm just going to clip that off. Just so that I'm even. Freaking zippers. And you can use, so the pattern, um, you can use, 
You can use a number three zipper if you have it or a number five zipper. So I'm, I'm going to use number three. Oh, you are? Okay. Just because then I don't have to think about finding a zipper pull. <laughs> okay. I, I, I don't have a whole lot. Ask Diane. I don't have a lot of number three zippers. And it, if you're going to use a number three, it calls for a seven inch and I only had five inch. So. You know right. why I'm using number three is because, or why I have a lot of number threes is because I was into making those like, those embroidered like doggy poop bags for a while. Oh, really? And so those all require number three zippers. And so I would just buy a bunch in bulk. Oh. So I have tons of number three zippers. I have number fives because I used to do like um, meditation pillows, like the round meditation pillows. Uh-huh. And oh, then I, yeah. I would put like a a zipper at the top so that if you wanted to wash it, you could pull stuffing out. Mm -hmm. And so I, I don't know, some people do this differently. So I am not going to sew my little ends of my rectangle. I learned this. I don't know who I learned this trick from. I learned it from somebody, but I found that you can turn it. It turns much nicer if I do it this way, where I just sew down the two long um, ends and not sew the short ends. So Oh, so you're not going to sew the short, the short end of the box. Yeah. It turns nicer. Like it, it lays nicer for me. All right. I'm going to try that too. And Katie, we should share with everybody um, our adventure, our adventure in interfacing. Ah. <laughs> so I yeah, not let's talk about the elephant in the room, interfacing. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Um, I did not do this. How much Katie we made it. So um, the other week when Katie made her Mr. Heckles, she was asking me if I ever experienced like any type of puckering, uh, like when I interfaced. And I was like, mm -hmm. I should go get that bag and show you all. The, yeah. It's kind of, it's a, it's super annoying. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> not a really. project. Yeah. And I was like, not really. I mean, but I, I, I've, I've seen it happen. And then we started like, well, what could you do to like fix that? And when we researched it, it was like, pre pre shrink your interface thing and we were like what yeah has anybody has anybody else ever heard or do you do do you, do you shr pre -shrink, pre shrink your, your interface <laughs> and i know like people used to like do the whole like you know the they pre wash their like cotton wovens and stuff like my right like pre washing yeah. but that used to be a thing a long time ago when like it was people were worried about the ink dying like the right. if it was a red the ink transferring right 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 yeah all right i've drawn i just went through and drew my little triangles and the line down the middle okay i'm drawing my line in the middle now we were doing this right sides together, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whew. You're good. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now I'm going to clip into that. And um, just like where your triangles, like where your triangle, you're still going to clip to the threads. Yeah. And I am not like, sewing that. Yes. Do not clip into your threads. And usually I start it with a, I usually start the line with my rotary cutter because I'm lazy. Oh. Yeah, heck, it's my scissor. Um, I have Kai, the Kai scissors, and they're really sharp. Like I have Kai scissors. And then for little things like this, I, lo I still love my gingers. My metal gingers. Oh, okay. They're so strong still. But yeah, I have a several pairs of Kai's. And did you know they have left-handed Kai's too? Really? That's I cool. Love I'm left-handed, nice. but I grew up in a right-handed world, and so <laughs> I actually don't use left-handed scissors, but my mom is also left-handed, and I purchased them for her. 
the oh, nice. shoes. I'm like right dominant, even though I'm left handed, which is weird. Okay, now we're going to pull it through. Yeah, I just think it it does make things. You just got to watch that your your fabric doesn't come through here. Mm. Wait now. Why am I confused about how to pull it through? Stick it through the hole. Yeah, I know. It seems easy, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, okay. Literally stick it through the hole. <sighs> and you really should iron this, but mm. I'm gonna iron. You're I have an iron right behind me. Yeah, I'm not ironing. <laughs> <laughs> Jenna's got places to go. It, people see in places to go. I got teenagers who don't tell me that things are happening. <laughs> Mine. I'm going to put double sided tape on my, my zipper. Hi, Bubbers. Apollo is here to say hi. So, the other day when I was watching, when I did the Mr. Heckles for my sister, yeah, I, was so watching, um, I was watching Jen's YouTube, and she was saying that there's been all this like hate for against double sided tape lately that she has seen. What? I don't know. What? She didn't say like, she didn't really say. She was like, she said like, I love using, she said that she loves using double sided tape and she uses it in like all of her patterns. But she's seen on like Facebook groups lately that there's like, there's haters on double sided tape. I'm like, is, it because, is it because it's like considered cheating? Like, is know. that what people think? It's considered cheating. Is it considered I'll cheating? Cheat. I will cheat all day long. Darn, um, darn straight. <laughs> I'm not okay, stopping you in it. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, no. I was wondering if it's... Oh, look, you can still see me. My Mac is following me. I um, see. You can yeah. see the messy background of my room. Um, so I was wondering if it was because it gums up needles sometimes. I don't know. Mm. I love it. Yeah. No, oh, I love it too. Now I need to make sure that my zipper is going to be the right direction when I open it. Hi, buddy. Oh, oh you didn't kick your dog out. No, that <laughs> if I kicked him out, it would be worse. That's what, well, the cat decided, was able to sidle into the room, but the, the other dog, the dogs and the children got kicked out. Okay. Now I think I'm behind you again. Did you just put your zipper in there? I didn't I didn't sew it yet. I'm just setting it in there. Okay. We I have a really spicy. long zipper. So she said in the tutorial that if you're using a number three zipper, and I'm gonna put double stick tape on this because um, but she said to keep your she likes to keep the little metal piece on the on the zipper in the, let's see, in the little pocket thingy so that we cut out. So let me see if I can hold this up. That middle piece there, the metal piece, not middle piece. All right, let me go grab double sided tape. I just want this. this to not show. Ooh, I need some new. I need some new double sided tape. I'm running low on my one eighth here. Oh my god! Yeah, I need one eighth too. I'm running low on this tiny stuff. I like to get it from um, way way whack wow whack. Yeah, a lot and of people I like theirs. I, think I get I get mine from sale right. Wow whack it wow way I don't know how to say it clearly, but that shop <laughs> they have um, pretty cheap shipping and they ship super fast. That's why. Um, Chrissy actually was telling me about it. Okay. Now we're going to top stitch this baby. 
Yeah, so the whole thing with the interfacing. <laughs> Katie, you did pre-shrink some, right? I, I pre-shrinked today's. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah. So the inner, yeah, after I, when I get a minute, I will go and grab that, the, the bag. Maybe I can yell to a child to do it for me. But, um. I got like basically done with the bag and it got all like puckered, like not puckered, um, not wrinkled. I like, don't know how to explain it. Bit, like a little, it's like bubble wrinkles or something. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's super it's weird. weird. Yeah. And so, and it's super frustrating because you spend all this time and that one was a rosy. And if anybody yeah. has made a rosy, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, you know. You know, you know. There's a lot of stuff. And so it was like, oh. And then no matter how much you like try to iron it and stuff, it doesn't, it don't work. All right. All right. So when I did this on the number three, see that little metal piece there? I kept it in the hole. Oh, yeah. In the hole. In the hole. Okay. So we're just going to stitch a box around this. Make sure that if we have number three, that we move the zipper inside the box, obviously. So it's not a useless zipper, right? Oh, why did I do that? I cut my threads off. I'm through. Well, we're gonna. Uh oh, what happened? Uh, I, I I just cut my threads off instead of pulling them through. So oh. short. But it's all right. I pulled them through and burnt them down. They'll be fine. I'm sure it'll, that it'll be fine. Everything is going to be okay. Yeah, everything will be fine. But there's my zipper pocket. Let's see if I can. Bring it up there. I'm just turning the corner on mine. There it is. The threads are also so much easier to pull through on an industrial, too. Oh my gosh, yeah. Because they're just thicker. And so it's more to grab. All right, what's next? I'm not bothering pulling mine through. I'm just going for it. <laughs> well, you know, right. per, per the course, Jenna didn't cut everything out. <laughs> I have the lining part of my pocket cut out. So yeah, I'm going to go over, I think, one more time. Just to make sure. You didn't cut the lining out? Yeah, I got it. It won't take long. Okay. Well, I'm going to go over my zipper pocket one more time because I feel like... I don't want it to... Where I pulled the zipper, the actual zipper piece through, it looks like a little loose. I think I'm an over stitcher, probably just like I'm an over taper. <laughs> an over stitcher? Yeah. Like, I want to make sure that, because it's the worst thing ever is to like have your stitches come out. Right. Yeah. So if you've ever gotten a box from me, you'll notice that I'm also an over taper because I'm petrified that somebody's like a box is going <laughs> to, that a box is going to come open. Right. <laughs> Right. In route. Okay. All right. So we oh, yeah, have some more stitches there. I should have used green thread. Oh, well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place this piece this. top of this. All right. I better make my centers. I'm going to iron this real quick, too. Okay. 
And then I think next is the card slot pocket after this. Well, yeah, but we have to put the lining on the back of this. Right, right. Well, no, right. but I mean after we're done with this piece, right? Yeah, after we're done with this the, piece. Then it's the card slots, yeah. It's a bit wonky. It could be better. It's fine. It's going to be fun. The inside. It's our first one. We can don't we can't. Yeah, you always need to make a first, right? Yeah. We can't beat ourselves up about the first one. All right. So now it says flip the panel over, lay the second right side, aligning the round edges and clip in place. Oh, so we're just clipping it in place. Flip the panel over. Yeah, we're just clipping the lining in place. That's it. Wait, this is the lining. No, it's not. No, yes, it's it not. Is. No, it's not. Uh oh, did I do this wrong already? Did you not? Did you not cut a second one of those out? You needed two because I didn't cut two out. You need two of those. Two of these. Two of the. Two of the thing. liners. Yes. But we attached the original one to the lining, correct? Yes. Okay, so I did do that right. Main body liner. Phew! You just nearly gave me a heart attack. Oh, the second zipper panel liner. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, yeah. So we're just right we're just down, aligning the round edges. So you're laying it right side down on top of the piece that it has the zipper on it. Yeah, so that you can see, you know, like you're gonna want to see what's in, you know. Because that's essentially the back of the zipper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or the back of the pocket, rather. Yeah. Okay, so we're just clipping it. We're just clipping it for now. And then we're getting our, our card pocket. <laughs> Jot it down. That was the name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That was the name of this pattern by Kay Dale Handmade that I yeah love. the name of the your pattern that you had a lot of her part. she a lot this pattern has a lot of similar kind of similar like different card slots and stuff but yeah yeah but for a notebook it's really it nice was, it was a good one too yeah so now we're gonna do our card um, slip pockets I already ironed mine at the markings because if I did that live I'm sure I would mess it up because I always I have to double check it. Yeah. So um, that, but gave me, the, um, that brought me back to when I was ironing, ironing masks all the time when I was doing the before we did the fitted masks we did the slotted masks like you know, right. rectangular oh so boy we're, we're just going to top stitch top stitch the top um, with an eighth inch top stitch the tops of each of the pockets yep and then she said to make sure that we have did you make sure your card fits? So uh -huh. I just stuck an old gift card in there to make uh -huh. sure it fits in each. As she said, as your as your um, yeah ironing to make sure they yeah. fit, so you don't have yeah. to go back. Um, and then she said there was some importance on how to top stitch it. Right? She said, well, not not to top stitch through. <laughs> Through your card pockets, like to make sure you're flipping it for each one. Yes, that was it. Yeah. But you can top stitch through the top one, just the yeah. other ones you have to be mindful it's the to. The other stitch. ones, so you have to flip you can it. top stitch through flip this. Flip it out one. of the way. But then okay. when you get to do this one, you have to kind of flip them. Flip yeah. them out of the way. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. So it was snowing there today? Well, it was just flurrying this morning when I got up. Yeah. So weird. I know. We live, I feel like, like, uh, we live in like an elevation that's a little bit higher than I think a lot of town. And I still yeah. get like 
we call it the weather vortex. Like it'll be bright and sunny on the other side of town and it'll be like snowing where we are. It must just be how the weather comes in over the mountains and hits us first. Right. Yeah, yesterday it was sunny and gorgeous. And then today it's bleh. I'm so done with it. I yeah. want it to be nice. I don't want it to be super hot. <laughs> I'll just be very honest. I don't want it to be super hot. But I also, I don't want it to be yucky. Right. Okay, she said to... Oh, huh. I should have marked the center. Okay, I'll mark the center after I'm done. She said after you're done with the top stitching, yeah, there's going to be a little bit of overhang here. Yeah, if yeah. You flip it, if you flip it, that's the front side. If you flip it over, it's going to be a little overhang. So to trim that up a little bit. Yeah, I didn't do that. I just lined mine up. <laughs> you didn't trim it up at the... No. Let's hope it fits. Well, it's... no, I think you do that at the end. Wait, are you on the next step already? I just didn't trim mine up. Mine, what no. it is, is mine and now is the top one is a little bit bigger. That's all. Yeah, that's how it is. But I think that's how it's supposed to be. And then she said to trim it up after. I don't know. Yeah. We'll I see. Think mine's, I think mine's okay. Maybe I'll, maybe I'm completely jacking it up. It's no, fine. I don't think, I don't think you are. <laughs> All right. All right. Now she's saying. It's weird because. Once hmm. you have that, because we're going to mark. Yeah. You have to go and mark the center now. Yeah. And then it's and then... A half inch apart. Yep. So we're Wait, doing it's a half like inch away from, you mark a half inch away from the. Well, it's a quarter inch, actually. Or oh, it's a. Sweet. It's a half inch. Yeah, I think it's. Half Draw inch. two lines at the center of the pocket. It's half inch apart. Okay, yeah, you're right. So it's one inch total. So it's one inch total. Okay. Yeah. So you draw a line. Where's my marking things? I'm going to just, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm like, I'm just thinking about the two of us, how we talk, how we talk with one another. People are probably like, I can't follow those two. Cause <laughs> we both are like finishing each other's. Uh-huh. It's good. Yeah. So, uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So moving on. <laughs> it's because we both talk to each other so much. We know, we understand. It's going to be the worst. Other. It's going to be the worst so long ever. <laughs> we understand each other's fake language. Right. Oh. Okay. So I used one of So Busy uh, from Lauren Morminos. Is that what you're using for marking tools? She has the iron, the heat erase ones, and she has the silver ones, which I love them both. Oh, I'm using... Do you use these? I do have that, but I don't usually use that on cotton woven. You use it on your cotton woven? Well, not the silver. The silver, I left it blank because I use it on. I don't have the other one of hers. Okay, I just got it. And oh. then this is, so I marked the other one with a red dot so I knew. Oh. But it's erasable. So here's the thing. I didn't, let me find them. Hold on. Hold, hold. Okay. They're super cheap. I have and they, on her site because I was like, I need a new silver one. This is super annoying. What am I going to use? Because I ran out. And then I went to her site and she has um, refillable, um, you know, like replacement pet like things. Yeah. So there's a bunch of silver replacement ones. And then she also has the heat erase ones too. Oh. And they come, they're the same pen. So I just marked the different, for what I, I put in it, I marked it on the top. So I know. Yeah. yeah I the, silver, the silver ones, I got a bunch of refillable silver ones off of Amazon. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, but um, I don't have the heat ones from her. I'll have to go get those. Yeah, the heat ones are great, too. Um, okay. And I like that I can just throw in a new one and refill it. Because it's the exactly. worst when you yeah, like yeah. run out and you're like, now right. what? Yeah. Um, okay, so we're supposed to sew all the way up just to the second pocket. Yeah, in yes. a rectangle and then down the other side, she says. Down the other side, yeah. Yep. Oh, because the, is it because the top pocket is supposed to be bigger? Or no, I the guess. The top pocket is supposed to just be a pocket, right? Yeah, you just don't need it to, you don't need the yeah. reinforcement, I guess. 
Yeah. Or, oh, it's supposed to be a pocket for like cash and stuff, she said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot. I went down. I went a little too far there. Oh, good. My, my stitch didn't go. Good, good, good. All right. Oh, crap. What? I just jacked that up. I guess it's okay. Yeah, it looks nice. What color thread are you using? Um, it's called Sapphire Blue. It's Saya. Nice. Yeah, it's like a really nice. It's not a bright blue, but it's not. Um, it's almost. I feel like it almost has like a metallic look to it. Mm-hmm. I need to try some of her, some of her thread. I really like I'm it. I'm using, I use, I have wizardry for my Juki and uh -huh. I really like khaki. <laughs> I have a khaki too that I use a lot and I think my khaki It's is better than white because it doesn't show the mistakes, right? I know. I have a khaki from Sunny Sewing Machines. Um, oh, and yeah. I, I have one thought. for my, I have one from them for my, um, my the uh, Jane. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's nice. Yep. See, I used it on my cotton woven and it, it I just ironed it and it's gone. <laughs> gone. Okay. There's how my pockets I have them clipped on here. Card slots. <laughs> Let me make sure it, yeah, everything fits good. Okay, see, here's the thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. So then you, okay, so you take the, we clipped these together, the pocket, the zipper pockets, right? Yeah. So then you flip it back over. And then on the opposite side, you put your cards. What? Got it. Right? What? what? That's right. So no. it's going to be like this. Where? What? <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. It's on the right, right, the same side. Never mind. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's on this yes, side. Yes, it's on the same side. It's at least I got the, <laughs> at least I got like it on the, like, at least I'm not trying to put it on the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the other one is the pockets for the, for your passports. Right. Sometimes the easiest things. Hmm. So take the completed pockets laid on top of the main liner panel along with the left hand side lining. Yep, your lining should all be up. Base the three leathers, the three little three layers in place. Um stitching your zipper pocket liner as well. So all three so, okay. I, that's what I was going to ask. So we need the liner in there as well. Cause sometimes yes. they have you. Not. Yes. So all three layers need to be in there and we're just mm -hmm. stitching from the card pocket, I think. And I think she said it's three eighths seam allowance on this whole thing. Yeah, it is three eighths. I think yes, three eighths. Yeah. But, but, but we're just basing right now. So we're just matter. basing. Yeah, we're just basing, so it's just to hold it in place. I could have done a better job on my zipper pocket, but again, it's the first. It's the first one. Okay, so we're basting all of that. Together. Yeah. Your machine sounds like a frog. What? Your machine sounds like a frog croaking. I know. Everybody says that it either sounds like my dog or a frog. Or... Yeah. She... Gertie, Gertrude, Gertrude makes some noise. It's, but she's, she's a good old girl. My, I don't have a name for my Juki. I guess I probably should. But my yeah. embroidery machine has a name. And Jane, of course, my industrial has a name. Yeah, you have names for your other machines. 
it probably feels left out. Well, my embroidery machine is intense. Her name is Brunhilde. Because she's very intense and she's a 10 needle. 10? Is that right? Yeah. 10 needle. Okay. I'm just going to go and iron this a little bit. So it's not wavy. Woo! Hello. Just got mad at me. I think she came. Oh. <laughs> How did you get around there? All right. So we have that part done. I'm going to give this one to Julie. <laughs> there you go. Julie, my sister can have the first one. <laughs> she's gonna be, she's probably listening, like, screw you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, and then once we have that part done, then we're gonna put we have to get our um passport pocket holder. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, there we go. All kinds of pithy. Brenda says her fabricator's name is Max. Sybil's machines are Lucy and Ethel. Ooh, and Lucy and Ethel are great. I love that. Love the khaki, also the grunge. Yeah. And are you able to show these on screen, these comments from your end? Or can it not? It might not because no. you're on your phone, huh? Yeah, no, I can see. I'm on. I'm watching the live. Brenda says her fabricator is Max. We need to come up with a name for the Juki. I will not. Diana says, I will not name my Juki. Yeah. <laughs> well. Diana doesn't name name her stuff. <laughs> Is that just like a personal thing? I guess. I think so. I think it's just. I will possible. not name my machines. I choose not to name my machines. Right. Oh, Erin was the one that actually she came up with the name Brunhilde for the beast in the back corner here. Yeah. So you can kind of see her. She's back there. Brunhilde has an attitude and we put her in the closet. I only named my <laughs> Janome. Xena. Is oh, that yeah. because she's a warrior yes. princess? Yeah, she has Xena. Okay, so Jamie. I'm now behind Jenna. Oh, the dogs are trying to get in. <laughs> Jamie has Tootsie. Tootsie uh, is her TL18. Tootsie. She's hardworking and has an attitude. I feel like all machines have some sort of an attitude. Some sort of attitude, for sure. Okay. All right, we got the top stitcher. Now I'm behind. Passport. I've um, been talking. You're good. Passport pockets. Yeah, passport pocket. I'm just looking to see, do we... Oh, we draw using the removable marking pen, draw two lines up the center of the passport panel. One quarter inch apart. So this one, this is the one that has only the half inch marking. Wait, first you folded them right sides together. Yes. Fold yeah. and have right wrong That's wrong the sides wrong. together. Sorry, obviously. Yeah. And iron the fold. Did you iron the yeah. fold or are you not doing that? Well, I, it was full. Yeah, I did earlier. Yeah. And then top stitch it. Oh, and then top stitch it when it's not on anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Rinda, I never named a machine until my fabricator, but since I have to fix him when he gets mad, I wanted us to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> we come together so cute. Yeah, I think it's gonna be super cute. 
my zipper pull is actually from Once Upon a Rainbow. Did you meet her at So Magical? Your what? Zipper pull? I didn't see your zipper pull. It, oh my gosh, a, look at everybody's looking at my roots now. When I leave. It's a Mickey. Oh, it's super cute. Yeah. Um, and she sat yeah. next she sat next to me in one of my classes. Um, she does such gorgeous work. Oh my god. Um, okay, wait. So this one is not as big as the the they were an inch apart on the card slots, but on this one, I think they're only half an inch apart, right? It well, no, they were a half of an inch, and it was a one inch piece. Right. This, this is this is only a quarter inch apart, so it's a half inch total. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're on the same page. We're just speaking a different language. Speaking different languages, but we know what we're talking about. Totally. <laughs> totally. Let's see. Okay. That looks the same size. Oh, I think I did a quarter. Wait, what did I do? I don't know. I did something wrong somewhere. <laughs> it what it is. It, this one is supposed to be a half of an inch total. A quarter. I think I did the other one too small. Cent. I think I did the other one a quarter. It's okay. Julie's cards will just fall out of her wallet. <laughs> Julie. <laughs> uh, it's totally fun. Okay. And now we're going to clip them in place. And baste it. And top stitch it. Yeah. And baste it down and then top. And then wait. Do we baste yeah. it first and then top stitch it? Baste it and then do the line up the middle. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's right. And yeah. then we're gonna birth end up birthing this baby through the zipper. I know. That's crazy. But no, that's cool. Crazy. it's cool. Yeah. All righty. Okay, so we go. I'm gonna base first and then do the Yeah, same. Okay. Yeah, who else is making making one? I know there were a bunch of people who said they were planning to come and make one. It's a really good scrap buster. I know you were saying that before, but yeah, I, I, there's so I, many small pieces too. Like even if. You had to use a bigger piece, you know, for obviously the outside and the liner and stuff. But then you have all these pockets. You could do all kinds of different stuff, you know? Exactly. It's a good scrap buster for my fabric club, too. Yeah. No, I you think... You get all those fat quarters that you cut into, right? But then you have extra yeah, you have For sure, for fat quarters. So when we do the line up the middle, we just do it like a... We just do a rectangle again, essentially, right? Yeah. Who else has threads all over them? I do. Yeah. I had threads on me before we even started the project. <laughs> That's why I put my dress pants on yet, because I was like... Oh, yeah, no, that would be silly. <laughs> well, one, because there's no way I'm sewing in dress pants. How uncomfortable is that? And two, I didn't want threads all over me. Did you tell them what you're having to go to? Yeah, no, I, I mean, I did on my lives, but my son um, is a part of the junior ROTC program. And today is their military ball. So, that he did not mention until. <laughs> oh, well, he mentioned that it was today, but I was thinking, oh, it's a dance. It's like later this evening. Um. And then he tells me, oh, I have to be there by three o'clock. Oh, that's oh, kind of early. Started. Like, that's crazy early. Well, because they do an award ceremony, they do a dinner, and then they do the dance. 
So, so we're just going for the dinner and awards portion, and then he's going to do the he's going to be at the dance. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think. All right. So we did that. Mm -hmm. now, if you're going to add a um, pen. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. So I want to do that. Hell, where are all my elastics? All right. I'm going to go hunting. I'm sorry if anybody hears something like slamming behind me. Apollo decided to go get one of his big bones. Um. I used to have so much elastic. These oh, things you're coming out of my ears from all the masks we were making. And I just cut myself on a box. Oh, geez. Are you okay? <laughs> things are falling apart here in Oregon. <laughs> um, yes, I might need a band-aid at some point, though. Um, okay. Okay. What does she want? A two-inch piece of elastic. Yeah. So I'm just using quarter inch. Is that what you're using? Yeah. Well, I guess mine's half inch. No, mine's half inch because that's all I had. And now I want to put my Oka Roots cruise tag on my flap. So. Oh, yeah. She didn't really say in the tutorial when to do a, um, do a thing. So yeah, I'm going to put it on my flap. I think I'm just going to do a, my little shindig tag. So if you're putting an elastic on, I'm assuming you're putting it right between in the middle of the two stitches that you did up the center. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I did. Wanda's barking at people walking by and Graham's yelling at her, but trying to keep it low. <laughs> He's like, what? What? Like, you know, when you like yell at a yeah, kid yeah. or a dog, but you're trying not to be loud. I'm going to go one sec. I'm getting a band-aid. Oh, girl. All right, I'm going to just stick my okra roots tag on here. Yeah, so my, my mother-in-law just came to pick up my son to take him to the military ball. But so is teenage boys. They don't, they don't tell you everything. Tell me from how far one side, the bottom of the zipper hole. I messed up in having to create a fix. Oh, okay. Um, so from the bottom, it looks like it's an inch and a quarter mine. And yeah, it's like an inch and a quarter on either side, pretty much. Um, either side of the zipper hole, Janie. I'm so bummed that it didn't come up on my channel, but it is what it is. All right, I'm going to need to make sure that I'm far enough All right. from the center here. Band-Aid has been gotten, and I got this bag to show you all what we were talking about at the interfacing. Oh, yeah. Man, those Ikea boxes are no joke when they cut you, huh? I have, those yeah, storage, that's nice. I have those storage boxes for underneath. Um, it was basically like a cardboard cut, which is gross. They really hurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I didn't get a big enough band-aid for my fat thumb. Okay. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. So on camera two there. See how, like right there, like... You can tell it's just kind of rippled right mm -hmm. super upsetting after you spend a really long time on a bag so we read up on it we went down the foxhole <laughs> and really in the middle of the night i think this is caused because i haven't been shrinking my flipping interfacing <laughs> right yeah though well, i mean that's all the pictures we saw of it was that so I tried it. We'll see 
what happened. I mean, I don't know if it'll show up so much on like a project like this um, as far as it would like on a bag that you're like completely turning out and has like a bigger. Right. Well, like the rosy, you know? Yeah. But it still stays. Oh, it's, it, it's still staying. For it sure. didn't do it. It doesn't do it every time though, too. You know, like that's the other thing. Right. Yeah, it's super fickle. Well, Phil, you wanted to come in and now you want to go out. For goodness sakes, make up your mind, dog. Okay, go. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So you know how I'm taking Dennis on a cruise for graduation? Yeah. So um, just like there's a, crew, a group for the Okaroos cruise, there's a group for that um, cruise as well. And uh, there, you know, it's just me and Dennis because my husband, he's staying home with the <laughs> with the anxious husky. Oh, yeah. And uh, I was like, you know, he's 18 and it's a, it is a Disney cruise. So I was like, well, maybe there'll be another like young adult family you know, that he could get to know somebody. So I posted that we were going by ourselves. And uh, and a woman who's going with just her kids has, her son is going too. So it's kind of nice. Oh, They've cool. started to chat and get to know each other. Well, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Um, so I, Jane I guess says, saying, what was the interfacing that you used? I am using, oh, you mean on the Christmas bag, on the Christmas tree bag? I used... Um, it was just like SF 101. And then today, who am I using it from, Jenna? What's the other interfacing I just said that I just bought? Castine Handcrafted. Yes, it's from Castine Handcrafted, I think, what I'm using today. Um, I shrunk. There was, what was there? There was information on shrinking interfacing for... I think it says on SF-101 that you can shrink it. Yes, SF-101, it said you can shrink. There was a Castine brand... Castine Handcrafted didn't have anything on their site about it. Yeah, Castine didn't... She, uh, Monica... So fused. Jenny oh. Jane says so fused doesn't do that. Where do you get oh, so fused from? That's Castine's. That's 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 what, what you're using today. Oh, Okay. No, but see, that's the thing. I think it did do that to me because I used that on, I used Castine's on my sister's bag and it did it. Yeah. I, there's nothing on. No, so I've tried. Sybil says I, she loves it too. Yeah. I don't know. So I tried, I'd actually pre shrunk Castine handcrafted too. And which is, I think that's what I'm, I think that's what I'm using today Um, to see if that works. But yeah, it, it did it a little bit on my sister's um, Mr. Heckle's bag. That's what I used for that one. <laughs> All right, did you, are you sewing the flap? Is that what you just did? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the seam allowance. I mean, I'm going to sew the flap. I put my tag on, now I have it together, but I, I, I put my hole for my snap so that it's marked. Wait, she said three, okay, three eighths, sorry. Yeah, it's three eighths. We use the guide for yours. I use. Yes, I use the guide, or I would never get it right. I have the Madame So seam guide seam guide ruler, and then I have the the um what you call it that you stick the magnetic one. Oh yeah. is the frog <laughs> i keep thinking what is that where is that frog coming from 
I don't know. Does anybody else's? Because there's, you know, like uh, Rinda has a sale, right? As a fabricator. Does anybody else's make noise? I don't know. Mine, I just, he, she's always, she sounds like that. <laughs> croak, 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 croak. And then make sure you clip her around your corners. Yeah. After you. Well, and then trim it. the seam allowance, right? Well, yeah. Back. I have to flip it. You're using all canvas, right? Yeah, it's all water resist. All, yeah, all canvas. That's what I used. Ooh, this is a tight one. Yeah, I'm, I'm having issues with my cork here. It no, it don't want to. There it goes. And I I don't have a turner anymore. I have to order one. I used to, I used to use a my turner was from the dollar store, one of those glass um, nail files. Oh, yes. And I don't know what I would what I was making, and I turned it and it it snapped. <laughs> uh, well, dollar store. Um, eventually, all things. <laughs> all things. Um, I have. Do you have a Cricut machine? Yes. I use this. Oh, yeah. That's a good it's like idea. the scorings tool on my Cricut okay. machine. You oh. just have to be kind of careful. Sometimes it doesn't poke so through, doesn't poke. of course, but it's pretty good. And it's not going to snap because it's not plastic. It's metal. Right. But it really gets after those corners. Also, I've heard people use... Um, um chopsticks oh yeah that's a good idea all right now we're gonna top stitch this baby okay so we're top stitching the flap i still need to do my tag oh ah, i guess i should top stitch on the on jane over here all right wake up pretty <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta change my thread too. Uh. This is gonna look so cute. I'm so excited. Yeah, it is gonna be like it's like. Again, this is coming together so quick. If I was still doing craft fairs, this would definitely be one I would be making. Oh yeah, that's an, it's an easy, it's an easy pickup, and it's kind of a nice present too for people. Somebody that travels. Mister, we should make one for Chrissy. We should make one for Chrissy. <laughs> Maybe I'll make her the Hobbit one. Oh, she would love that. I'll make her the Hobbit one. I'll do that this week. Even though I'm really jealous of her. <laughs> and her travels. I'm so glad she shared pictures, though, because I got to live. Oh, yeah, we can live vicariously. Live vicariously through it. All right, you guys, we're getting there. Now, I am going to... Um, Oh, sorry, everybody. I shouldn't have done that. I wasn't going to. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to pick you up and move you, but I unclipped you instead of picking you up. Sorry. All right. We're going to. This is the first time I'm going to do this. So I bought the cam um, press. No, oh, you're already on that piece. I am. You're flying. You're okay. Feel like I'm behind. You're I'm gonna stop. be in your right. I'm out of here. I'm stopping to take a drink. Relax. How do you um oil your sail right like every time you use it? Yes, because if I don't, she gets it messes angry. up, right? She gets angry. That's what I'm doing right now, oiling this this lady. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's just you get a little bit done, and then all of a sudden it's like conk conk. Yeah, like, no. Yep, yep. So yep. you just gotta take the time. Yep. Same with my embroidery machine, Brunhilda. They said that I need to oil her. 
I think the manual says I have to oil her like every day. What? Or not every day, but like every single time you use it, no matter every what. Time you use it, yeah. And but then sometimes like really extra when you're using it. Technically, I think that is what you are supposed to do. You know, like every time. But, but I'm, I'm, I'm super lazy about it, so. I've never done this snap thing before with my cam press. So I don't really know which and what is what. Are you doing, you're doing the magnetic ones, right? No, I'm not doing magnetic ones. They're, they're like actual. Oh, is it the spring or whatever? Yeah, they're like actual like snaps. I'm using, I, I don't have those ones. I have the magnetic version. All right. I'm using. Okay. I'm going to top stitch. Hey, Bob. How do I know what goes Do you guys, y'all see the, okay. y'all see the tail? He doesn't care what's going on. There's just a cat tail. Oh, here he comes. Okay. okay Robert, you could get down. All right. Well, say hi. And say hi to everyone. <laughs> what is what? Oh, yeah. And then he complains. Meow. Meow. Like, how dare you, mother? Does the male, the male end of the snap. The male end is in the top. It should be in the flap. In the top. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. I'm figuring it out. No. That goes there. Put the top here. I've never done this before. Please work. Please work. Please work. Well, you could try test it. I could test it. <laughs> I'm like, how to grab. I could do that. It took me a long time to figure out snaps. It was like really hard for my brain. Well, I didn't do nothing. Oh, that looks pretty. All right, the flap is. No. I use fairy, I'm using fairy floss for the top stitching. So it's like a pastel. It's pretty. I may have, Sybil says she has many chopsticks in her sewing room. Do they get lost? Do you find them all over the place? Get out. Oh, Rinda says get out the picture sheet from Cam Snaps, Jenna, if you need help. The picture sheet mm -hmm. that Rinda sent sent to me. Did oh did she send you? <laughs> That's funny. She's like, I tried to help you. She did try to help me. It would it'd be helpful if I if I brought it up. Let's do that. Let's do that. They didn't mail me one of those, Rinda, but you emailed it to me, so. So here's a question. Where did you install your tag? I put my tag on my flap. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, I should have done that before I sewed it. I didn't even think about that. Maybe I'll just put mine on the back of this. Maybe I'll just do it. I think she in the video she had it on the back of hers. So, wait, how is this going to go? And sometimes you just need to lay it all out, right? Yeah. Is it like this? Is this the... I think this is how it is. Yes. Rinda, where's that email from you? I hate when I can't find something. Okay. So I can wait. Then this, I got to go on this side, right? Because I 
I'm gonna go like this, right? Yes, okay. So I hope you all don't mind me talking with myself. Okay, let me go grab a Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, so mail, mail. Oh, I have a fish or friends, not food. That would be cute. That would be cute for the um, the Atlantica one, huh? Oh, that would be cute. Okay, so that's the mail. My sister's calling me, even though I told her that we had a. That we were doing this. Oh, live. Uh huh. Okay, so I think I'm going to just do this one. I have all of my I have all of my heartwood and hide tags are in the I got a binder. I got a gaming binder or a Pokemon card binder. So I'm just going to use That didn't do anything. That, those cute little tags. It didn't work? No. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? I don't know. <laughs> How far up from the bottom? Like two inches, you think? For the tag? On the back? Probably, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ish. Okay. Six. So oh. right there. I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay. Okay. Male and the cat. So I have to do the female and the cat. I don't do um which female one is yep, it's the one I have on. So that's this one. Okay. I'm going to go stitch my, excuse me, Bob, move. He thinks that, the cat thinks that the sewing chair is his chair. Okay. So crazy. These, I love, I love my cam snack, but I feel like every time I go to do it, I don't know what I'm doing. You got to certainly like do it like a lot of times in a row, I feel like, to like get yeah. it really get it yeah because it yeah it's frustrating when like every time you go to use it again and you're like oh, i don't remember how to do this i don't remember how to do it but look how nice it looks now it looks so pretty it turned out so good all right so i did that yay what's the next piece oh and it's telling me to do my oh stitch horn what I said stitch it, stitching for, you know, when like the top stitching on a tag just comes out so nice. It looks so nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let me see. So sewing, sewing for, well, I have to tie the back, but it just came out. Oh, it looks good. Very nice. Very nice. When it just like, you know, when that, the rectangle just happens to line up. It's just perfect. Uh-huh. All right, I'm going to pull the threads through and try to actually do it the correct way. All right, now, listen to Rinda. <laughs> I have to do my other one. One of my best buys was this whole punch from Lauren. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad I got it because I have two of them. It's made life so much easier. I was trying to punch tags to um for my um my TPU that I was selling at so so magical last year, and I didn't have a whole bunch anywhere. I was like, Lauren, can I buy one of those from you? <laughs> and I end up having two of them. Okay. So now we put that on that, on that. Rinda says your other ones, oh, Mo sent you a picture on Instagram. 
Yeah, I got it. It's, okay. Yeah, I got and then it. Rinda said, your other one needs to be hidden. My other one needs to be hidden? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for the piece that it snaps onto. Right. It's, the back it, of it is hidden. It snaps right onto Mickey's nose. It's so fun. Oh, that's cute. All right. I'm going to burn the ends real quick. Because that's going to be my front, just like that. See how it looks? Oh. Okay. So, wait, you just installed the snap. That's what you're doing, right? What's yeah. All, you that's what all the, I'm you sorry about the cat that keeps walking by. Get Bob. You install it on your, on your tab, and then the other, make sure you install on your interior, too. Right. I have a... Oh, she has a name, but I don't know what it was. Oh, it's Marge. This is Marge. <laughs> your your cam snap. Yeah, my, my the the what press it, the press the big old press. Yeah, mine doesn't. I don't have a name for my for my press. Julie's my sister has hers is called Rosie because it's Rosie the Riveter. Oh my goodness. Ha. Well, you can't beat that one. Right? Yeah. I think I actually came up with the name. She wouldn't admit it, but. Because <laughs> mine was already named Marge, so I couldn't. I couldn't change my name. All right. So now I did that part. Okay. So I'm just using. Well, they're all, they're all stuck together because they're magnetic snaps oh you're using magnetic ones yeah i i did buy mag i did buy magnetic ones too but i wanted to figure out how to the boy goes in the <laughs> okay I mean, it's kind of obvious why it's the female and the male move right yep all right now we're going to put this okay. Let's see. This can go there. Now you're just sewing yours together. You're going to be done. Yeah. So we're going to put it right side up here. And we have to base this on. Yeah, you base the the tab. Base, base it first, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, oh, okay. All right. So there's that. Now we're going to piece them on top of each other. Make I guess sure. we could. I wonder if Make I should sure. add a bit of Decaville heavy. Maybe I should do that. Where? Under, you know how sometimes you see they do that under the um, snap? So that after uh, like taking it off and on so many times? Yeah. I might do that actually. But look at me going the extra step. This doesn't happen often. Going the extra mile. I mean, Julie's cards cards are already going to fall out of the card slot, so I might as well have it. <laughs> oh, and I am going to also, right above my little tab, I'm putting a woven label. My little, from Lauren, my little Mickey. Where are you woven. doing that? I think I'm going to do it right above my tab here. Oh, cute. That way when it turns out, it'll be there. I think that's what I'm going to do. Or maybe I'll so do it. So when you open it, like right above the, but is there a pen going to be there? Yeah, I think I'm going to, well, now that, well, that's what I was thinking. I think I'm going to put it on the other side. Maybe on the card slots? By the, yeah, by the card slots. That's a good idea. Okay. All right, 
now I have to punch a hole again. Do you have one of these big reverse presses or just the handheld thing? What? One of these? Yes, that's what I was using. Yeah. Okay. But you were talking about the handheld hole punch too. Yes, the sparkly one from Lauren. Yeah. 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 It's like a iridescent, right? Rainbow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had another one from someplace else and it was just, it was too, Probably Amazon. too it was too technical. Oh. You know, like it, it was just, it was too much. Too much to think about. Yeah. All right. Now we're just clipping. Oh, for goodness sakes. I can't even, yeah, there we go. Where are, we Where are we leaving an opening? Um, you're. I don't wait. Do you have to leave an opening? I thought you just because of the zipper. Oh, because the zipper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. Just open the zipper. You open the zipper, and then because you have your lining, you know, you never close the lining of your. Thank you, Mark. Okay. So you did this part, right? And you did it this way? Yep. Because it has yep. to be. It has to be, be right side up. Right. I have to find the video. Again. These are nice too, y'all, because I have it like folded over right now. And I'm just flipping and folding. You know, with a binder, you have to like leave it open. Yep. And that's annoying. Or and then, even like, even like right now, this is this is stapled, so then it's like sloppy here on my. Yeah. Well, and then like with like, I would just have like loose papers, or I have it like. Yes. Know, like around or. Uh, Believe me, people have watched enough of my videos to hear me how many times my pattern falls on the <laughs> falls on the floor. I feel like if I had it like that, you know what I would get for the back of my sewing machine? I would get um, one of those, like, secretary, like. Oh, yeah, the, like, hold your notes and stuff. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's kind of like you're, like, playing piano and you just have your, like, music sheet there. Yeah. Your music sheet. All right. Now All I, right. Need, I need to put a woven tag on it. Dang it. Okay. Put a woven tag on it. Oh, don't boss me, Jenna. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to do, I'm going to start doing mine. Are you going to put the whole thing together? Yep. I have so many woven tags. I really need to use them. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why, that's why everything needs at least one, if not two. Because right? I have so many as well. Maybe I should use sewn with chaos on this one. Seems appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> um let's see happy you exist that sounds too sweet for me especially if i'm giving this to my sister <laughs> i was gonna say <laughs> i didn't i didn't say it but i was thinking hmm. <laughs> yeah it you is gonna really be fun pretty. though yeah. Have Julie on the cruise. Yes. My sister and her husband are also going on the cruise that we're going on. Sometimes this takes me the longest of everything, I think. Choosing a tag. Yeah, same. What tag did you use? What did you say you did? I used the one made with magic that is the little Mickey. Oh, that's right. Ooh, maybe I should Rick Roller. Yeah. I think I said Rick Roller. There you go. Never going to give you up.
Now I'm using Made with Chaos. <laughs> it just seems too perfect for everything happening around me. Yeah. Not jumping on the table and this me cutting week. myself. And... So this are you week. putting it on your card slots? Yeah, I put it on my card slot, slot side. And then the last, and then that's it, right? You just, yeah. Now then you just go right sides together and zip. Yep. Three, three eighths seam, and then. Yep. And then we're that's gonna it. Trim it down. Oh yeah! After you sit, yeah. After you do the three eighths, you're gonna trim it. Yeah, in. we're gonna trim it down. And trim the and the corners. Yeah. It looks like Lindsay used the pinking shears, but I don't have the pinking shears here. I have pinking shears. Actually, I've tried pinking shears. They, um... I have pinking shears, but they're not, they're not the best. I feel like they wouldn't go through this much, like, thickness. So you just do right sides together and make sure the snaps are on opposite sides. Yeah. Duh. Because otherwise. Otherwise it would not be. Otherwise you can snap it. I mean, that might still happen. I might turn this out and be like, oh. Yeah. That's what I was thinking too. I'm like, did I do it right? You know, what? like that scary feeling of like, oh no. I had one of those on Julie's bag when I made her the Mr. Heckles bag. Like. Oh, I may have done this entire thing wrong. <laughs> you know what I usually have, though? It's usually over the whole um, stupid recess zipper. I hate recess zippers. I need to do more of them so I just get used to it. But, man, I don't like them. Yeah, I, I didn't like them either until I did a few more of them. Now I'm kind well, of like... And I have a whole thing. Like, I have a whole hard time, like, folding. You know how you have to separate it and fold yeah, it down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a hole. Like, it's a mental block for me, I think. Oh, and then you have to um, top stitch, of course, too. Yeah. Around the whole thing. And then we just add the... Are you using the Peltex, or are you using deco I don't have Peltex. I have um, Deco and Foam. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, I'm going to use. I'm using Decaville Heavy. She said that that, her tester said that that worked. So. And then we have to sew down the center. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. So there's quite a few. Minutes. Okay. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go stitch this around. <laughs> Just making sure that I haven't done anything wrong. The snap on the main panel should be on the left hand side. Okay. So the entire perimeter. Drawing a seam allowance on her. Turn this through here. Did you draw a line? Did you draw a seam allowance line? I'm not doing that. No, I did not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have time for that today. We're just going to go for it and hope for the best. That's that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Hoping for the best. She's looking okay. She's she's looking okay. Yeah, she, she's looking okay, but she's oh my corners look pretty decent. That's the only part that I you know I feel like that takes a lot of practice. Is sewing corners. Corners is that your problem? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I mean they look nice, but it's 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 my corners have come a long way, is what I'm saying. <laughs> From what they were. Oh, I think my seam allowance kind of got janky now. Okay.
this is where like some of the thickness here like oh, top yeah stitch. top stitching it's gonna be interesting well that's why i'm an easy industrial yeah i mean my mine will do it but well and the pattern she uses she uses cotton woven for the whole pattern right yeah Really I drifted, her... My seam allowance drifted a little bit on like the heavier areas. Yeah. It kind of just slips in a little bit. All right. Good enough. She turned out cute though. Okay. It really did turn out cute. So I'm just, I'm going to try to use my Kai painting shears. Yeah, I saw that they have thinking shears. I just haven't. Yeah, got, I have I'm got Amazon. Okay, I mean, it's cute. It's really cute. I like her. Okay. Even the Kai's like have a hard time though. Like these Kai painting shears. Yeah, it's having trouble. It is thick around certain areas where you have your cards and stuff. Like, well, and sometimes it just doesn't want to go. Like the the cotton woven is so easily, yeah, it doesn't grip on. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna next part is top stitching, right? Oh no, we gotta put our. I gotta put my stuff inside there. Oh, is it the pelt or whatever you're yeah, in? Whatever you're. So I'm just using some some foam. I think I got a bunch of Decaville. I was so sick of like, well, you know how I get <laughs> like all or nothing. And I I was like so sick of like going to do a pattern and not having the right interfacing. Yeah. I went to Joanne's when they're having like one of their bigger sales and I just bought bolts of stuff. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, that's the way to do it. When you have, like, a 40% off coupon or something uh -huh. for, that, for that sort of stuff, that's that's when to do it. Yep. So I did that for, like, I think I did it for Decaville Light, Decaville Heavy. I haven't, I ordered, Janie, Janie said about the river washers for the snaps. I ordered some, Janie, from Kayla a while ago. I still haven't got them yet. I should message her. Kayla, um, Carolina Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, Carolina. she has these, like, rivet washers. She just put something on her um, Facebook yesterday. Oh, she About did. why orders are late. It's something about a staffing something or another. Oh, okay. Staffing change or, I don't know, something. And so she's not doing any custom orders for a while. Until Got she ya. gets it all figured out. Got ya. But she was also saying, I, I think I just read that like last night. Okay. Well, that makes sense. All right. I'm using my regular scissors to do this part. So now we have our Pelanon pieces. Now with exterior face up. So <laughs> okay. All right. So I've sewn around the, oh, look at my shirt now. Yo. Woo. All right. There was a reason we were supposed to put that seam allowance line. Wait, what now? Oh, okay. Because that's the line that we were supposed to sew the set like center. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know how it said draw your seam allowance line? Yes. Well, we, but in the video, she just folds it over and kind of finds where the center is. Oh, okay. Well, then, then we're just going to fold it over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm pulling this baby through. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. <laughs> Come on, talk nice to it. Don't get angry. I didn't, I didn't yell at rammy. my children as I was birthing them. I guess I shouldn't yell at this bag. Don't get rammy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just threw my towel. 
<laughs> You're supposed to go like really slow when you birth these things, but it's like, I can't, oh, here. Janie said about Kayla. Is it all by herself running everything is trying to keep up with her previous agreements that she made while she had her employees. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, no worries. They always say to birth these like super, you know, to go slow. I'm always like, I don't want to go slow. I want to see it. <laughs> okay. We're ready to top stitch it. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Katie, I love this print so much. It makes me so excited for the cruise. Um, this turned out really flipping cute with these like binoculars and the compass. Yeah. And oh, it looks really cute. I love that green. I don't know. I'm, I'm a stickler for, oh, like, for the lime green. green. Yeah. I love that. Oh, when you stitch it, make sure that you're stitching your tag in. My, my woven. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, then I, it won't look nice. I want mine to, mine to be out. You're going to have it just stick out? You're going to yeah. top stitch? I'm not going to top stitch over it because it's too thick and it's going to look funky. But then won't it always be out whenever you're, like, won't yeah. it always be like that? I'm okay with it being out because it looks cute. Like um, that, right? I did mine a little more further down. You did yours down more. But I think it looks cute. Mine, my, my, uh. My thing is going to cover it a little bit, but I don't care. I think it's, it's fine. I should have, uh, I should have put it up higher. If I did another one, I would have put it up higher, but I'm okay with that. Cause I don't want to not lucky. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So now the only, I'm at your step, right? I just need to, I might you have to draw your, your draw your line down the middle right yeah yeah are you gonna hold on so wait you put okay she wants us to put our peltex in before we yep oh. yep so i so... have my, i have my stuff in before before i'm top stitching Okay. It does give a really nice structure. I'm going to do a little press on mine first. You didn't have to trim the pelt, the, the, insert down at all either right? no no or, it fit it fit it fit just right so when you're doing your top stitching are you top stitching over that insert um or is it just on not the really no it's not i i feel like i mean it's right there but it's not i'm just it's only an eighth of an inch top stitch so <coughs> okay and then she said when you fold it to put it in to go like that to fold it in like thirds. Yeah, said. in thirds. And shove it in the pocket. All right. Seems to work. So, cute. so the next video that I'm doing on my channel, Katie, is um, is a Lynn's handmade as well. And it's a, oh gosh, I don't have it out. It's her little mini backpack that she has. The map pack? pack? No, not the map pack. It was the one she had done before that. It oh. almost reminds me of like a lounge fly backpack. Yeah, um, I know what oh, it's called. You know what I mean? So that's the next one that I'm doing, and I'm going to figure out how to make a hack. Lynn. To hold. Lynn Sport, Jamie said. The, the Lynn, Lynn Sport. Sport. Yeah, Lynn Sport. Um, so that's the next one I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm going to figure out how to make um, a buckle for 
ears to attach. Oh, to yeah, that's right. That's a good idea. Yeah, Janie. So Janie says she messed up the zipper pocket. She's going to have to leave a hole on the edge. That's okay. Uh, Nobody will know. Nobody will know, Janie. Only Janie. us. Yeah, and we're not telling. We're not uh, telling. Janie also said that it was the first bag she made from Lynn's. The Lynn's port. It was the Lynn's port, yeah. Yeah, I think I, I think I can hack it. I think it, it won't be that difficult. Okay, so I have put the inserts. Now I just need to do the top. Did you do your line already before you started top stitching? Yes. Did you mark the line on? On the exterior. I don't really want to do that, though, because of my cork. Do you have a chalk pen? Maybe. Let's see. I don't know if the cork, it would be, it would, um, I thought I did. Because that's what I'm using, and that's what usually what I use on chalk. On oh, a, yeah, I have a clover. On cork. That's what I use. This? Yep. Yep, that's what I use on cork. All right, folks. Oh my gosh, look at how cute it is. It looks so good. I'm so happy with it. Cute, right? Yeah. Okay, but look at it. I installed the snap right. Did you install your snaps right? I did. Yay. See? Yeah, I know. We can do we're, this. we're figuring it out. Let's see. I guess I should close it and then mark it. Is that what you did? That's what I did. I closed it first and marked the center. Yeah. You know what's funny? I almost have a line that's running exactly up the center. That's You know how the cork has lines? Yeah. How do I get the chalk out of this? You have to turn it and it's just on a, like a little roller. It comes out. You don't, No, you don't turn. You know, just take the cap off. And yeah, I draw. Do. Just draw. Oh. Just draw. Okay. Just draw. It'll come out. Yep. Okay. Just draw. Here we go. There you go. Oh, correct. Oh, that's really cute looking, Katie. What? The... I, I'm looking at your screen of your like from the top down, and I can see it. It's really cute. It turned out good with the cork. Yeah. I love, I do love cork. Somebody was just saying, what was I on the other day? Oh, it was a Dre, it was a heart when Hyde was doing a little like check-in. They were talking about your tea, actually. Oh, anyway. was she? Mm -hmm. oh, they were talking nice. about how yummy it is. Um, but somebody was on there saying that they were scared to try cork. Oh, a lot of people are. And it's like, I love it. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. I'm making more of these because it was fun. And it's so cute. And you could totally batch these. Look how cute it is, Katie. Oh, it's really cute. Oh, yeah, that's fun with the tag right there. Yeah. I should have put it up a little higher. Oh, no, I meant the... Um, oh, like the oak roots? The oak roots yeah. tag? Yeah. Yeah, it's cute with your tag there. I feel like it looks really good. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yay. All right, so all I'm I'm just clipping all the way around just before I top stitch because I don't like it when it like yeah when you can see the you know yeah I know what you mean I feel like I did pretty good I feel like my basket weave and your um, water resistant canvas was just the right amount of like it's not too sure so yeah. tell me what you interface because did you still interface the waterproof canvas. I interface, so my exterior, I put a piece of Decoville light. Okay. Um, like, not to the, not to the seams, you know, like, it was just cut out that I, like, for the structure part. Right. And then my interior water resistant canvas from you, I put so fuse on. Okay. And then my, those pieces that, um... Because that's the thing they say a lot of times with water water resistant canvas and waterproof canvas that you don't have to interface it. But 
I think when like the designers say that they're talking about the thick stuff. Yeah, the really mine thick. isn't mine's like much more I don't know pliable. Flippy. Yours is more, what? <laughs> I feel like yours is it's not like this. Right. It's not this. Yeah, stuff. you can hear that. Yeah. <laughs> That's more like for an interior, I feel like. Right, right. Better for an interior. Like my basket weave has like the thickness of that, but it's more soft because it doesn't have the, the coating on it, you know. Right. Like, but your water resistant canvas is is more well, like a polyester. My water resistant canvas is polyester too. Yeah, so then that's why yeah. it's it, it's it's more like a cotton woven. Mm -hmm. You know, but I love the feel of your water resistant canvas. But it's not. I don't like to say slippy because that like. No, it's not satiny or slippy. I know because whenever I say about my. But satin, it's like, like um, I don't know what what's the term for that. You know what I mean? It's smooth. Anybody else? Oh, Julie's on. Just, Julie, in time to see your, just in time to see your uh, travel organizer that I'm sending you. <laughs> your cards may or may not fall out of the slip pocket. <laughs> yeah, so so did you, did you do the line down the middle already? Did I do the line? Yeah. You did. So you did all the way around and then the line. Left. All, the, all the way around and then the line. Okay. I'm going to do that real quick. Okay. You can go get your dress pants on if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should go get my dress pants on. But I'm so happy with it. Thank you, everybody, for coming and hanging out. Oh, with Jenna, me. tell people about Wingo before we leave. Oh, yeah. Katie's doing Wingo. Oh, I'm sewing. Yeah, sure. If you haven't um, participated in Wingo, I just ordered my, I was procrastinating, and then last night she told me, are you going to order it yet? Go and order it. Order it. Order it. Because so, I only have like 14 people left. 14 spaces. 14, 14 kits left. Yeah. So it's April what? 12th? No, April 19 is the, wait, April, no, sorry. March 22, April 19, May 17. Okay, there she told you dates. Those are the dates that we're going to be live here on Katie's page. And we're going to play Wingo. And it is awesome. Katie gives away so much goodies. Um, but Wingo is basically, she sends us little squares that we get to piece together. And then we play bingo. It's fabric bingo. Fabric bingo. So um, definitely join us because it's, it's so much fun. The online ones are fun because we're all hanging out in the chat and just sharing with one another. And eventually people are all like freaking out because they're so close. Um, <laughs> and then Katie's also going to be doing live Wingos at... Sin City Socation, right? Yep. And you're probably going to be in Florida for and so maybe magical. in Florida, so magical. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, basically, I send you for the online version, I'm going to, I will send you 25 two and a half inch squares. And then, in order to play, you just have to assemble your Wingo. Bing, wingo bingo card which is a five by five yeah so you you get to choose what your board is going to be like that way everybody's board is different so it's a lot of fun we have it's a good silly time. yeah silly fun it's silly fun and we always get to see graham and his, <laughs> we get to see My him husband. wearing his ape his ape mask yeah <laughs> we should get him a different one this year he's getting a different one should right yeah it should be something else <laughs> um yeah so yeah April last from... it was like a quilt block yeah it's like a quilt block i don't know do i have one of mine over here i, I have a picture i can show you in a second when i'm good i might have my old, one of my old ones over here somewhere i don't know where it is though um yeah i'm gonna go get my dress pants on and, I then... Will be, and then i'll be done when you get back Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I'm nearing the end here. I'm just going around these corners, folks.
Okay. So close. Okay. That was quick. Well, I told you all I need to do is get my jeans off and put my dress pants on. I'm already, I'm already dressed. Um, the other thing that's coming out on this Friday, I have my new dynamic fabric kit is coming out this Friday, which is exciting. My new dyed fabric for the month. And it's called Wizard's Wand. So it was a new technique. It was my first like attempt at doing, um, oh, what do they call them? A mandala on my fabric. So I don't have one of them because I, I sent all of the sample ones I had out to my um, strikers. But it's like a, has a mandala and then it's like beiges and like, um, like soft purples and mauves. It's really pretty. Fun. And then the other one is called Dragon's Eye. And that one is like the weirdest like color grouping you wouldn't think it looks good together but it looks really cool it's lime green teal red oh go figure and there's another color yellow um it's really cool looking too you wouldn't think that red would go with those colors but it it really is cool so those are that's coming out on on friday i only have 15 kits so I think I saw the dragon's eye somewhere. Did you preview it somewhere? Or did you just show me? I might have shown it to you. I think I, I think I sent you a picture in our chat. Oh yeah, yeah. So the red is supposed to be the eye, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's why. I mean, that's why I called it that. Plus, it's the theme of each every month. I have a different theme for my kit, and the kit this month is is Lord. It's Bilbo's birthday, so it's like basically about Bilbo's journey because. Bilbo Baggins, he was the one who went and um, defeated Smog. Smog. Ooh, Apollo. Do oh. you fear death? Isn't that what he says? Yeah. And then there's tags from Jade and Chris in there that are super cute and go along with the theme. And you can only get them with the fabric. Because, you know, Jade and Chris are, like, making us such cool tags. They indeed make the coolest tags. All right. I'm trying to just tidy up my ends here. No worries. Apollo, Apollo left a stinker. Ooh, you were dealing with stinkers yesterday from Wanda now. <laughs> no, it's Phil. Phil's the stinker. Well, oh, yes, Phil. Wanda too. Wanda, I think, does it out of, out of spite. But yes, <laughs> Phil is the consistent stinky dog around here. Well, I did not leave this long enough to tie. What is wrong with me? I hate when I do that. I know, right? It's weird. It like split off like it. I don't know if it just like ate it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Janie said that she's going to see us in Florida for So Magical. Oh, nice. Well, we're going to see you at, we're going to see Janie a lot, I think. We're going to see you on the cruise. We're going to see. Yeah. Aha. Ha! Ah, I got it. Okay. You got it? Now I got lots of strings. I just need to figure out how to tie these, these ladies up. Now I have this that goes with my bag I made. So cool. I know it is. You're matchy matchy. You're very matchy matchy. We should do um, when we figure out what what the heck we're doing with our fish hanger. We should we should do a live so for that. Our fish hanger. Blech. That's gonna sneak up on me, and it's gonna be like April twenty fifth, and I'll be like, Crap. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like maybe after Wingo, we'll <laughs> let's plan to do it then, and maybe we can figure out the technology by that point. Right. And do it in both places. Hopefully I can figure out, yeah. Okay. All right, Julie, are you still on? Jenna, your hair looks fab. Oh, thank you. She it's raining. It's raining. It'll be it'll be it'll be nothing by the time I get to the school. What's coming on Monday? Is that is it your 
Her Wingo. her Wingo. Yeah, I think Janie's her Wingo. And April Wingo. is going to Tennessee, so I'll see her in Tennessee. Yep, April says I'll that. be teaching classes. And Julie says, Julie's my sis. And oh, she says, your hair you. looks fat. Okay, thank you want to see the big reveal on mine? Yes, I want to see the big reveal. Let me stick a pen in the pocket. In the pocket, sees. Okay. Oh, I don't think, Julie, I don't think your credit cards are going to fall out. I think they're totally secure. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's so cute. And the color of that cork is so pretty. It's pretty, huh? And then, so it says sewn with chaos down here. I left it out like you did. Oh, very cool. It turned out cute. Those colors are so pretty together. And this is, whoop, this is. And a, you still, you still have some of that, right? Did you still have some in your. Shop? Yeah, I do. I have half yards. I think I have half yards of this one. I'm trying yeah. to look from here, what I can see. Um, yeah, I have, I have uh, some sort of all of these still from this line. Yeah, because that's like really perfect for a travel wallet, like. That yeah. would you put your passport. And you know what? Sure. Dream, Bi Dream Big has passport zipper pulls. Oh, how cute. How do I, I not I, have those? I just ordered some of them. Oh, man. So they do have passport zipper pulls, too. Let's see. Janie says she loves your dynamic fabric kits, and The Hobbit is one of my favorite books. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for people to see. All right, Mama. Hey, well, I love it. I love how it turned out. Yeah, I think and I put my little that. tag on the back. Hey, everybody, take a screenshot. We need a, we need a screenshot. Wait, how do I do that? Just, just look, just look, and everybody else will take pictures of us. Take your hand off your face, though. <laughs> just look. <laughs> Don't take a screenshot of that, anybody. <laughs> okay. All right. Wait, I'll go. take a screenshot of just us. Oh, Can you're you gonna have my head in it though. Can you just take a screenshot? Yeah, I have it oh. on the screen capture. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Now, now we do can... one more. Usually I have to do two. Sure. Okay, ready? <laughs> Un, do, trois. Okay, there we go. One of those cool. should be okay. One of those should be good. We can All try. right. All right, I'm going to go Jenna, um, this is fun. Go have fun at your ball. Yeah, I wonder what the, I mean, the nice thing about this is I don't need to cook dinner. So that's. And this took us, this was about exactly two hours. Yeah. And I was a little bit slower than you. Well, and we were chatting. So I think yeah. if you were going to make these, I think you Oh could my gosh. Them. I bet you could make, I bet I could make two in an hour now. For sure. If you, if you for batched sure. it. For yeah. sure. For sure. And I need to make one for me. So I'll be going. To Thanks, everybody. Dinner. Both are awesome. Thanks, Thank April. You. Oh, April has a question about Wingo. Yes. Um, so, April, it's like a quilt block. Let yep. me. I'll let you go and share about yep. Wingo. I'm going to head out. I'll just talk. Yeah, I'll tell you real quick about Wingo and then we can. Um, and then, yeah. See ya. So April is on the main page of my site. And essentially, oh, there's the dogs. Essentially, it's a quilt block. See, you can kind of see in the picture, it's a five by five. So you can sew it up like that. You can do it as, you can Mod Podge it. You can packing tape it together. We don't really care. Oh, Rinda just ordered Wingo. Awesome. Thanks, Rinda. Um... So there, that's kind of, this is instructions. So these come, I put these in each Wingo pack that I send with kind of instructions on what to do and when the dates are. And then let's see. And then, oh, and then she's gonna, Janine's gonna do, oh yeah, you're gonna be on Wingo also. So um, you'll get a baggie of two and a half inch squares. Okay. And then you get to choose how to assemble your board, if that makes sense. And then you just show up to any and all of those nights. 
um, that are, it's listed on the back here. It's on my website too. And we just have fun and we get prizes and yeah, it's silly. So, all right. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Fantastic rest of your Saturday. Thanks for staring at my roots every time I <laughs> lean towards the camera. Julie, if you're still on, this is yours because I know that you said you weren't going to be able to make one today. So I made one for you. I hope you like it. I know, I know you love, this is like one of your favorite fabrics. All right. Sybil, thank you. It was fun. I need to do these more. I need to start doing these for my, um, I, I think some of you may know that I have a fabric club that I send out each month that has a recommended pattern that goes with it. I really need to start doing these. So alongs for the recommended pattern because I think it would just be fun, right? Thanks, Diana. You're beautiful too. Say hi to your pups for me. All right. Have a good Saturday. Bye, y'all.